and these stones shall be for a memorial to the children of Israel's forever. And so basically he says, remember these 12 stones because it's going to remind your children and your grandchildren and your great-grandchildren how I brought you through the Jordan. Then he goes on in Proverbs 22 and verse 28. It says, remove, remove not the ancient landmarks which thy father, fathers have set. Amen. Then in Corinthians chapter 11 verse 24, he says, remember again, he says, and when he had given thanks, talking about the communion, break it and said, take, eat. This is my body which is for you. Do this in what? remembrance of me now there are times when the scripture tells us to remember things amen but there are other times he tells us to forget lot and his wife were instructed as they left the city don't look back forget about what's behind you amen joseph when his child was born joseph Jacob's son in Genesis 41 and 51 it says it is because God has made me forget all my trouble and all my father's household Joseph not only forgave his brother but he forgot the evil deeds they had committed against him he's our example of forgetting amen then here God tells us to forget the things that are behind us now, I think it's safe to conclude that God has a method to his madness when he tells us to forget some stuff and then other times he tells us to remember some stuff. Take my word for it that when he tells us to remember some stuff, amen, he has designed those things to be of our, ble our, of our, of our benefit and of some help to us in the long run when he tells us to remember stuff. And when he tells us to forget some things, he wants us to forget those things that's going to be an obstacle to our growth or an obstacle to our blessing. Amen. So, but it ain't it amazing how we have it backwards? The things he tells us to remember, that's what we forget. And the stuff that he tells us to forget, that's what we remember. We need, we need to learn how to forget some stuff this morning. Amen. I want to deal with the forgetting aspect of, of, aspect of it this morning. We, we need to learn how to forget some of our old habits. Come on, talk to me, somebody. We need to learn how to forget some of our old habits and some of our old hangouts. Some of our old hobbies. Look at somebody tell them it's time to forget it. Amen, amen, amen. Ex-girlfriends and ex-boyfriends, amen, get hurt sometimes because even though it's over, they end up getting hurt because they want to remember old phone numbers. They want to they wanna hold on and remember old love letters. Amen. But the Lord sent me here today to tell somebody to embrace the practice of forgetting. And I mean really forgetting. Regardless of what you're going through, I want to tell somebody you can have joy this year. I need you to say it. You need to hear yourself say it. I'm going to have joy this year. Now, I didn't say happiness. There's a whole lot of times I wasn't happy. Amen. Because happiness always has a lot to do with what's happening. But you can have joy amen amen in the midst of negative happenings i wish i had some help here today amen 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 i i i got i got joy when other people are crying i got joy when other people are pulling out their hair about the same condition i got joy when other folk are smoking themselves to death and drunk getting drunk as a stupor i still got joy Amen. Because I've learned how to forget some things. I, I, I learned how to, 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 to release some things. I learned how to let some stuff go. Amen. And when you learn how to let some stuff go, you, you, can, you can grow in the midst of you. You get to the point where you have a, a get over it and get on with it mentality. 
Amen. That's what I want to tell you this morning. Amen. You want to really, amen, go to another dimension in your life. You got to take a dose of this medicine. Some, some get over it and get on with it. Yeah, you got, you got to take a little bit of that, that philosophy. Some folk always consume them being drained by their past. Amen. I, 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 you may have lost your job in 2013, but get over it and get on with it. Amen. You may have had some legal troubles, but get over it and get on with it. You may have had some problems in your home, but get over it and get on with it. You may have wasted a whole lot of money in your mall ministry. But, but, but that's all right. Get over it and get on with it. Been through divorce. Get over it and get on with it. You backslid. Amen. Did some things you're ashamed of. Get over it and get on with it. Because we all have had, I'm almost out of here, some failures, some faults, and some fumbles in this life. Some of us have even fumbled the ball. Amen. At the goal line. Amen. Amen. Paul is in essence saying there's some things that happened in my life. But I'm just going to have to let it go. You do yourself well when you let it go. Mm. Hold a lot of folks can't get what's in front of them because their hands are stuck on what's behind them. But I've come here today to tell you, yes, I'm not trying to tell you to just totally ignore your life's history. Amen. But you may have some junk behind you. The Lord told me to tell you, but he has some joy in front of you. You may have some anguish behind you, but God has some advancement ahead of you. You may have some trouble behind you, but God has some trophies and some triumphs ahead of you. You may have a lot of garbage behind you that embarrasses you, but God has some glory in front of you. You may have some sorrow behind you, but God has some successes in front of you. I know somebody came in here this morning, aside from me and the three or four people on the front row here, that's happy about what God has ahead for you in 2014. Amen. But, but moving on to the future without letting go is like tying your arm to a post and trying to catch a train. You'll hurt yourself. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, you got to learn how to let it go. I came, amen, to be a prophet of good cheer this morning. Amen. To tell you God has a new blessing ahead of you. Your new job up ahead of you. Your new home up ahead of you. Your new relationship up ahead of you. Somebody has a new house up ahead of you. Somebody has new peace up ahead of you. Somebody has new comfort up ahead of you. Somebody has new joy up ahead of you. God has a financial breakthrough up ahead of you. Look at somebody and tell them, get out of my way. Because blessings are up ahead of me. I wish I had some help here today. I hear Paul says, I'm pressing toward the mark. Amen. I, 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 I'm not only going to really forget and rationally follow, but I'm reaching forward. Paul says, I'm pressing. I'm, I, I'm, in other words, when we was running over here in the west side over here in Columbus Park, amen, we got a, we got a, we got a, a, a track around there. When, we, when I was growing up, it's still there. Amen. When we when we would press, that mean we were bearing down. That 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 mean we were we were really stretching out. Amen. It wasn't no just jogging. It it was giving it all that you got. I mean I mean that that means you're gonna lay it all on the line. Amen. That that means you're gonna exert all your energy. And I've come here today to tell you, my brothers and sisters, somebody need to make. Amen. A commitment today as you reach forward that this year you're going to lay it all on the line. This year you're giving it all that you got. This year you're not going, amen, 99, amen, percent into it. Amen. You're giving it 100% in everything that you got. Somebody say 100%. 100% in my, on my, in, with my career, 100% in my marriage, 100% with my relationship, 100% with my children, 100% with my diet. Oh, don't you know, no, 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 let, let me pause here long enough. If, if you are sick, amen, and it's your body, and the doctor gave you a particular regimen, amen, to stick to, what 
you mean talking about I don't want my doctor to find out about it? If the doctor ain't going to die. It's you going to die. Look at somebody and tell them it's time to give it all that we have. Paul says, I'm running for my prize. I don't know about you, but I've learned how to run for my prize. I can't run for Logan. I can't run for Lee. I can't, I, fact of the matter, let me, let me contextualize this. I've learned how to run for Ira Acre. Amen. When I was coming along, there were so many of us, amen, as young preachers, we wanted to, we, we admired Donald Parsons so much. Many of us, we, 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 we tweaked our messages to, to, to emulate it and sometimes copycat the Donna Parsons and the Jasper Williamses and the C.L. Franklins and the young guys come along today uh, all across the country trying to emulate Leroy Elliott's and the Johnny Millers of the world. A amen. But I've come to the conclusion that nobody can beat me being accurate. I wish I had about 20 people this morning that can just say it to your neighbor, I'm happy in my own skin. Nobody can beat you being you. Nobody can beat you at being yourself. Amen. When I think of all that the Lord has did for me, how he made a way for me, how he opened the door for me, amen, I can't help but to think that he has a special love for me. Oh, oh, I wish I had about 30 people that would say I'm happy being me. So we got to learn how to stop fussing and fighting. Feuding and learn how to be grateful for what God has done for us. Uh, just think about it. Somebody here, they counted you out. Somebody here, they turn the page on you. Somebody here, they walked out. Uh-huh. Somebody knows how it feels when they walk out of your life. But can you leave here today saying, I'm going to press on. Can you leave here today saying that I'm going to reach forward? Uh, can we begin this year with the right perspective? Uh, can we begin this year with the right spirit? Uh, these are not any scientific principles. Uh, you really don't have to have a high IQ to emulate it. Uh, but all you need to do is uh, follow the three steps uh, in Paul's pericope. Uh, Paul says uh, that I'm going to let go of the past. Uh, no matter how painful it may be, sometimes uh, I'm going to really forget it. Yeah, then he says, I have to come clean with myself and stop trying to act like I'm more than I really am. Yeah, I cannot myself to have apprehended. Yeah, I heard him saying, but I know somebody who has apprehended. And he is the great apprehender. Do you hear what I say? And I made up in my mind that I'm going all the way with Jesus. Is there anybody here going to go all the way? And what's the made up in my mind uh, that I'm going all the way? I'm going to keep on reaching forward. Uh, yeah. I didn't mean to hold you so long, but I'm so glad that God 
he gives us the strength and the power to press forward do you hear me my mind goes back i was stuck